All right, and we are back with the, I think this is the part four live stream of uh, Resident Evil Village. This is going to be a fun time. We are at Heisenberg's factory. Uh, we're going to try our darn best not to die, but uh, knowing the way I play these games, that is very bound to happen. Um, Seeking did I already buy upgrades? Hey, what's up, Roar? Please do take a look at my new stock. Did, did I? S no, I did not sell. That is very uncharacteristic of me. I, that's usually the last thing I do before I sign off. Valuables, quartz, uh, crystal skull. The worst Indiana Jones movie, some might say. Perfect crystal skull. I, damn, I got so much stuff, I just didn't bother. Shoot. Damn. This is so much more than I thought. You were part with this? No, no. I'm more than happy to purchase. Duke's it. kitchen. Damn, one, one fish shy of uh getting that last upgrade. Neat weapon upgrades. None that we really need. I look forward to seeing the fruits of your exploration. Alright, and uh, now we can just go ahead and go back on over here as the fire seems to be indicating. I don't know the logic of why it suddenly lights up as soon as you grab a thingy, but it works. And how is your day going, Roar? What's going on? You would think at, at, at some point Ethan would just stop questioning all the crazy shit going on around him. It's just kind of business as usual. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, I'm doing doing okay. I got work early tomorrow, so that kind of sucks. But, um... It is what it is. Yeah, usually I work at like 6 in the morning, so I try to go to bed at like 10, 10.30 or so. But I start at... Three tomorrow, so that's three hours earlier than usual. So if you see me tweeting some memes or stuff, know that I am well past beyond my bedtime. <laughs> Basically, right after this stream, I gotta go to bed. Very excited to get the um, to get my Series X in on uh, on Sunday, though. I don't know if I'll even have much time to play it before I gotta do like the podcast and stuff, but I'm glad it will be sitting in my entertainment system. Don't worry about the kid, Ethan. It'll be fine. Ha! Just get your ass across the bridge. I'm still trying to think about like what what are even like the first things I want to pop in there to um to, to like test it out. So I mean, obviously there's like stuff on Game Pass. I never got around to playing Hellblade. I want to play ah. that. Ethan Winters, welcome. I didn't think it's a nice looking system in Banjo Kazooie. Wrong. Hell yeah! <laughs> hmm? It's weird with um. As the times have gone on, I kind of grew up liking Banjo Tooie a lot more than Kazooie. I think the more I've aged, the more I, I, I'm like in the opposite. I think Banjo Kazooie's probably the tighter experience. Tui's definitely got like way, like the levels are way too large. There's just like a lot of artificial backtracking. Like, oh, you need to get a power up from, um, or you need, to, you know, learn a new skill like way later on in the game. Then you got to come back. Tui, who has time for this? <laughs> Basically, they let um. Did Tui come out before DK64? Because DK64 needed the expansion thing. I don't... I want to say... No, I want to say after, because I think Banjo Tui came out like, what, 2001? So that was already like on the cusp of the GameCube. Love Tui doing a replay soon, but no, Banjo Kazooie is a tighter game. And you know it's weird. Growing up, I had beaten Tui like three or four times as a kid. Um, it took me until like the 360 version was out to actually get around to beating Banjo Kazooie. BK or Banjo Kazooie DK, and then okay. What the hell, Mia. Truth hurts. Don't. 
Have they announced uh, FPS boosts for, um, I guess that's technically a 360 game, right? And then he gets going, save Rose, right? I'm healing it was in 1999? Daughter. Wow. Look, you, you, you got this all wrong. It's a mental. Shut your fucking hole! <laughs> Sorry about that. Take a seat. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a... ostensibly a N64 Listen, game. It comes with the territory to get used to it, I guess. What are you talking about? You think this is a game? Would be nice to see you running like a 120, though. Let's see, for Banjo Kazooie, that is. Didn't check Tui, but assume it's the same. Bitch. Ugly, uh, psycho doll. <laughs> and then we're on a freak. Freaking Eisenberg's an ass. Don't you get it? Love him, though. It's a test. It's, it's actually funny. Uh, like this is like years and years ago. I was emulating uh, just a bunch of N64 games on. What was even like considered like a toaster of a laptop back then? It wasn't even a gaming laptop. Um, but running Mario Kart 64 at uh, at like 60, and then going back to that original frame rate, which I want to say is like what, like 24 or something like that. It, it's it's a rough transition going back. Last time you freak, I swear to God. Hey Nitro, and uh, I I I can't sign off on that comment. <laughs> Oh, oh no, sorry, I read that backwards. Banjo to a ukulele, but actually good, yes. Together, we go save Rogues, and then we can use her to grind Miranda into peace. I don't know if it's something with me getting older and then just like anxiety increasing as I get older or whatever. But when I opened up ukulele and just saw like how huge it was and how kind of like far spread out the collectibles were, it gave me anxiety for like wanting to go in there and just be like, oh no, I got, I can't miss a single thing, gotta check every corner. I'm just like, ah. You're, You're allowed to make the joke because you backed it. No, I think I backed that and, um, uh, Mighty. Am I saying right? Might, Mighty Hero number nine? I believe that's. I'm a, I'm a big fan of, uh, of this enemy right here. He's really propelling me to new heights. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Mighty Number no. 9. It wasn't good either way. Which is funny because I never even bothered to play. Like, I got like that backwards here where they were supposed to send you, I think, a Steam code, and I just didn't even bother downloading it. Shit, go. I don't think it was even so much like a technical disaster or anything. I think it was just. Expectations were super, super high, and then it was kind of like mediocre at best. But I haven't thing? played it. I can't really sign off on like any uh, criticism aside from like what I've seen. Still waiting on a game you backed in 2014. Excited for the Wii U release. Oh yeah, my Wii U is sitting in a uh, friend's house, just not being played whatsoever. I was actually supposed to give that to Blaine like forever ago, but not much I can do. A friend can't be bothered to dig it out of their garage. It's very convenient that e even in this factory of death, they follow the uh, Uncharted 2 um, uh, design philosophy of let's just paint everything you need to go to yellow. Very, very convenient of the enemies to do so. I have way more shotgun ammo than I thought. Holy shit. There we go. All the crystal skull. The only thing you use your Wii U for years was Smash Bros. since you play that competitively. We, we still gotta go 1v1. I, got, I gotta test your... I gotta go up against your uh, Pikachu main. I don't even think I have a main. I just like to jump around between so many characters. But yeah. The moment uh, Ultimate came out, I mean, I mean, I think like even the second I got my Switch, I, I didn't, I didn't care about whatever was exclusive to it. Like at that moment, just like unplugging it, freeing up, the, freeing up that HDMI port on my TV. Yeah, I, I wish I did that coloring scheme in real life. 
or give you like some kind of like horizon focus where you can just like highlight everything you can interact with. Alright, I believe there's a trophy to... You have to shoot one of these things off. I forget if you shoot the body or the thing holding them. I'm gonna do that at a... I'm gonna do that at a save point. I think there's one right here. Oh, we talked about a Smash Bros. tournament for the SDGC community. Haven't been Welcome. able to sit down to Welcome. figure it out yet. Sure and, uh, yeah, I think, like, me and, uh, Nitro are, like, just joking about it on Twitter with Finn, and then, you know, people just got busy, kind of fizzled out. Um, yeah, it'd be cool. I can't promise I'll be any good. I haven't played Smash in freaking forever. Um, damn, I got a lot of stuff. Again. Nice. Ah. And now we can actually buy new stuff, including... Do I need a bigger case? Probably. Let's get the new shotgun. Uh, damn it, I really want that new pistol. I didn't get it last time. I could really go for it. Uh, decisions, decisions. Buy ammo, because we're going to need it. And then we'll just save out for that. I did not get it last time and I really want it. Do I even have any ammo for this thing? I don't think so. Let's check that actually. Um, yeah, nothing for it. Let's see. So Seth, remember when you said you'd stream Yakuza 0 because your Twitch audience skews young? Streaming in Discord, and it turns out your young teen fans are fucking blood hungry. I think I think it's cool you're um helping them branch out a bit. I don't think there's mm, I gotta think about that actually. Oh wait, no shit, that's not how you move stuff. That here. What do you rotate? Oh, come on. Got to just nice and organized. Um, I mean, aside from, like, some of, like, the adult-ish stuff, like, the... There's not, like, nudity, but, you know, like, there's, like... Night... Like, the nightlife and whatever. Everything that's entailed with that. Um, but overall, if you're sticking to, like, even, like, the side quest, like, the funny haha, -ha, like, here's an eye patch man kind of thing, I think it's overall okay. Is that enough for this? There we go. I was actually struggling because I really wanted to stream um, Yakuza 7 while I was going through it. But I like kind of refused to play that with um, with the English dub because I've played through the entire the entire rest of that series in Japanese and it would just be so freaking weird to just hear. Um... There we go. Got it. It would just be weird to like see characters that I have I have seen before in those previous games like suddenly speaking English. I'd be like, wait, what? No. But I think playing it the English dub would be better for like a Twitch audience just because they can just you know um, listen in. They don't have to read subtitles. Uh, let's face it, most of them admit to having played GTA Five. Yeah, yeah, that that's that's inevitable. It feels weird to have. Um, People assume they haven't. <laughs> Every kid's done it. Especially now with the internet having access to even just watch it behind like their parents' back. It's it's inevitable. I can't even remember how old I was when I first started playing Grand Theft Auto, because GTA 3 came out 2001, so I would have been uh what, what's six or five? Yeah. Yeah, I played, played Vice City a lot at my friend's house. Oops, I need to smack... No, that's not the crouch button. Oh shit. Um, pistol ammo is good enough for these guys. Oh shit, he's still going. I've been playing way too much near. I'm, I'm I'm used to the freaking um circle being the interact key, so now I'm just freaking doing 180 turns all over the place.
Uh, I haven't, man, I haven't done the factory part of this game since the game first came out. Most of my experience with it now is actually from the mercenaries mode, the little uh, score attack mode. So my perception of this level is very different from what it's supposed to be. Um, yeah, let's see if I can just shoot their stupid helmets off. There we go. Really upgrade the shotgun, but I do want that pistol really, 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 really bad. Oh, rest and scrap. Gonna have to come back to this multiple times. Forget this is locked, right? Can't go over there. We need a thingy to slot in it. So we only got one place to go. Do I have explosives? Yes, but I should probably save them. Shit. Wasted that shit. Eh, uh, still alive. Like, I, I don't know, like, like growing up and playing, like, violent games and whatnot, my parents didn't really care. Um, not in the sense, like, they were, like, negligent or whatever. Like, they would let me watch scary movies. Like, I, I grew up, like, in the age of slashers and whatnot. Um, Michael Myers, Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees, whatever. Um, I, I think it, it ultimately just came down to they knew that they could trust me to handle the material that was present in there, whether it was games and whatnot, uh, whether it was violence or sex and whatever. They, they, they trusted me. And I think that's basically how I'm going to treat it uh, for when I eventually have kids. If I don't feel like it has a... Um, I don't want to say like mental capacity. Uh, if, if I know they're mature enough to handle um, a game, then I'll let them. Mercenaries is actually responsible for teaching me. These guys are not as strong as you think they are. You can kill them pretty easy. Shit. There we go. But you're not dead yet? There we go. Yeah, um, to my uh, chagrin, I don't know if I'm using the, that word in the right context, I uh, I let all these guys live on my first playthrough because I didn't know that you could kill them. And that was a big dummy move on my part. Did I pick up a key item? Iron insignia? Nope. The relief. Okay, that's what I got. So we gotta go back. And let's plug that in. It's gonna take a quick minute though. It's like a 3D printer, except more factory like. I actually have a buddy that got a 3D seems printer useful. recently, and it actually seems pretty damn freaking cool. He's been making like airsoft guns and uh, like random action figures and whatnot just because you know people upload the schematics and you can just download them and hit okay I want that. Pretty dope. There we go. I am running low on ammo though. That's not good. Block pick. Magnum oh cool got magnum ammo. Uh I need Heisenberg ski for that. Don't have Heisenberg ski. Yeet. Can I hit this like with my knife? Nope. Um Shoot, I really don't want to use my freaking... No, I'm not going to use a shotgun shell on that. Fuck that. I'm going to just make some handgun ammo. Bite that bullet. Okay. 
Okay, it's gonna be like... There we go. I guess you can just run past these, but... I really don't want to run that risk. Right now, shit, I need to save my pistol ammo. Oh, god damn it. Shit. At least I didn't do that much damage. Shit. Um, oh, I have a sniper. What am I complaining about? <laughs> I still love that you can just punch him out of the way. I am being way too greedy with my ammo, but that's okay. That one's gonna be... There we go. That has entirely too many things on it. I am playing a dangerous... Oh! There we go. Fuck this, I'm just gonna run past. <laughs> this is taking too long. Come on. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Um. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Apparently I missed some items though. That's uh... Fuck it, I'm gonna go back. It's probably something super obvious back over here that I just missed, right? Yep. And gun ammo. There we go. Worthwhile investment to go back for. We... Da -da. Get on up over here. Yeah, plain, uh, plain mercenaries. Actually, I think if I had just stuck to like replaying this game back to back to back, I don't think that would have helped me learn the map as much as mercenaries did because you know it's it's time based. You have to go through and like all the pathways are open, so you ultimately know how everything's gonna progress. Although I don't have the means to naturally progress at the moment because you know need key items and whatnot. One of these is going to pop out, right? Please don't pop out. I know you're going to, though. There we go. So that's back to the main area. Oh, shit. Don't do it. Uh, we need to blow that up. I'm sorry if my case is disorganized. It is what it is. Shotgun ammo. I'll say some of the need to uh, keep it organized is kind of disincentivized because, you know, you can quick slot items. It's missing a cog. Okay. 2400 Lee. Lay, I should say. My apologies to the currency of the area. Uh, Gunpowder. Got no choice but to go up here. Oh. Like that. Thing over. Nope. Okay, this actually isn't blocked in the uh, mercenaries. That's odd. Gunpowder. And I'm just so bad at crafting ammo. I'm too greedy. Uh, mechanical soldier, soldat. Uh, fully grown male corpse used. Removed heart and implanted in caddo. Uh, muscle stimulation via electric shock was successful. Brain dead, so no high cognitive ability. Only moves by destructive instinct, then stops. Uh, version 1.01. .01. Attached headgear to the cranium. Electrodes confirm stable brain waves. Experiment 1. Lichen fight. Was dismantled and eaten within 3 minutes. Issues with destructive and murderous capabilities. 
uh, version 1.1. Replace lower part of arm with drill. Not enough output for effective movement. Need live bodies, perhaps? Uh, version 1.15. Implanted cation reactor into the chest. Output greatly increased. Experiment 2. Lichen fights. Destroyed three lichens in one minute. Good results, but issues with reactor durability. May stop functioning if the reactor is destroyed. Wow, I already figured that out. The, the big glowing part is the vulnerable. Bandit, why are you knocking my stuff over? <laughs> that, that, that's cats for you. They like to knock shit over. That's what cats do. Uh, but yeah, I never would have figured that the big glowy thing was the enemy's weakness. That That is so out of character for the Resident Evil franchise. <laughs> so we need to get back over here. Now one of them's going to pop up, right? So you got to run. Have a good stream. Hey, thanks for hanging out, Rar. Always good to have you around. Oh, uh, shit. Come on. Nope. Oh, fuck. Uh, let's craft some... Do I have... Oh, I do have ammo. My other shotgun. Fuck yeah. Oh, fuck. There we go. Come on, other shotgun. You can do it. Come on, pop up, pop up. There we go. Hell yeah. Breaking in that money. Oh, I, was, I thought I was totally out of ammo. Get that plugged in. Hog mold. Then we can go back to that place and just uh, 3D print. I know, we are 3D printing, but now once we get the 3D print, we can uh, get that switch going. Large cog. I could use that. That is true. Uh, I believe that was switch log machine. Is that below? Generator lever. Yeah, right down here. God, these menus work so much better when you're using a controller instead of a mouse. It's insane. Missing it. Oh, I'm, I'm dumb. I'm trying to use the freaking well wheel or the crank. Large cog. Marcus Phoenix is indeed a large cog. We gotta stick our Marcus Venus action figure in there. Shit, is that gonna wake up more dudes? Is the dude gonna fall from up here? Oh shit. Oh! That's exactly what's gonna happen. Holy shit. Oh shit. I thought we could join Come on, pop up. Square up, homie. Oh shit. He's not gonna square up. Oh, 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 damn it. Shit. Uh, that's not good. Oh, shit. Come on, run, dude. Come on, dude. Don't do that freaking blocking run. I'm not having that. I'm not like myself. There we go. Oh fuck, what did I reload? I need to put the ammo into this no, I one. Need power. I need enough power to destroy. Oh, let's go left. See in the kind of grand scheme of things. The strong will destroy the weak. That's the way of the world. In the grand scheme of things, Heisenberg is a victim of Miranda. Me. He's been kind of like her slave with, with with freedoms, I guess, if you want to word it that way. But he's still doing bad, evil people shit. Oh, oh, damn, he freaking spun around real quick. Was not expecting that. All right, let's just... Keep a distance. Oh shit! Freaking already on me. Come on. These guys are so much easier than freaking mercenaries. 
Gone. I got two shots. That should be enough, right? Ah, damn it. Come on. There we go. Ah, I'm totally out of ammo. But I'm gonna have a lot of money for when, uh... When I go back to Duke. That's good. Gunpowder. And good ammo. That's good. Oh, we could have used that to stun him, I guess, but... A little bit too late for that. Sniper rifle ammo. Hell yeah. Flashbang. I'm going to be honest, I I don't really use flashbang grenades um, for the grenade launcher. It's never occurred to me to really be in a scenario where I need to. There we go. Be like Sonic and uh, follow your heart there, buddy. Is that in the same position their heart is at? Yeah, because it's not like exactly center. Damn, I got a lot of ammo for this. There we go. Hell yeah. I'm having such an easier time with this than the first time I played. Holy shit. And that's just like directly freaking due to the fact that uh, I'm not running from these guys. I'm just full on fighting them. It's the easier way to do it. Alright, let's go ahead and stab these. Yeah, the first time I played, I'm trying to like desperately run, so I'm just like rushing to smash these open, and uh, that was not the smart thing to do. I I'm a wiser man now with my increased age. Oh shit. Load. Oh, I should have been hit by that, I'm not even gonna lie. Oh, come on, you're moving around too much. Can't do that. That should be illegal. Let's see what's over here. Smack. Out of mine. Mr. Mine. The, the, the rarest of Pokemon. so weird. I, I, I know it's a super weird tangent off of a dumb joke I just made, but it's so weird that you can't naturally get Mr. Mime in the, uh, at least in those first, in that first generation of Pokemon. Like, you can only get it via trade. So you can't even get one with, like, a original name. Oh, shit. Oh, that is a big dude. That is a big dude. Shit. This thing's on his back. Um, put that down. See if I can get behind him. Oh shit! Oh, it is on it. It is on his back. Oh, he is pissed. Oh, he, is, he just made that way too easy. There we go. I thought I was going to have a way harder time with that. But uh, getting him to attack that corner actually worked out pretty damn well. Here we got shotgun ammo. I'm almost hesitant to uh, reload because I want to get those ammo bonuses from, uh, from buying the ammo upgrades. Get that going. Doing this all in one run. Might as well. Come on. This thing's almost as slow as Ethan is. Gunpowder. Man, if I remember, there's gonna be like a big dude right around here. Oh shit. 
Um, that's not good. There you go. There you can get to his back. Come on. Let's see if I can... Oh, fuck. I ran out of ammo. That's not good. There we go. I didn't even hit the right spot, but it worked. Where the fuck is the door? Am I blind? What am I not seeing? Oh, dude, maybe maybe the big lowy door behind me is might be the solution. I I am I am point. Oh, god damn it! Shit, 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 shit. I got points of big brain moves right here. Ethan, you might want to close it. The... Oh, it closed for you. You think got bailed out pretty hardcore right there. There we go. And uh, there we go. We're going to run back into the Duke right now. Am I supposed to go up there? Yeah. Come on, Duke. Come back to Papa. Huh. For some reason I remembered... That being a longer sure lift. To find something new. That that's the idea. Yes, yes. yes, yes. Quite indeed. That is a lot of money. Buy such Supplies. Let's get that new pistol going. Hell yeah. Uh Increases firepower and rate of fire for the SIG. Hell yeah. Uh -huh. Get that going. And that's about all I can buy right now. Securing goods is more important than anything. Yeah, that's anything, all I can buy. Friend. Right, let's, so let's... Next we meet. Oh wait, shit. I need to properly like grab that to put it on the slot. There we go. Uh, you know what? Might as well save. Might as well. Or I forget. If anybody knows me personally or just even watching any of my content, <laughs> uh, my memory is pretty bad. I I make a... To compensate for that, I make a crap ton of reminders on my phone. To, like, just, just periodically pop up and it remind me to do things. Got to compensate for that weakness of mine. Let's jump down. I mean, we didn't even have to use the ladder. We can just, like, eat. Go. We got some lay. I keep wanting to say Lee, but I'm pretty damn sure it's pronounced lay. Miranda thinks we're nothing but children. Oh, she doesn't care for us. No. She's long lost all her humanity. I must destroy her. Oh shit. Hey guys. Oh, shit about the family drama. Fire rate's kind of slow, but it's ultimately going to pack a bigger punch, so I'm happy for that. No point aiming for the freaking helmet. That's just gonna waste a shot, so. Let's not even bother. Which apparently the master freaking, like, let's get an S rank in mercenaries is you basically just wanna run with a sniper rifle headshotting everything, so. I guess in that scenario, yeah, you would want to go for headshots even on these guys, but. It is what it is. Damn, this thing packs a punch. Oh shit. Oh 
Oh shit. Uh, let's back up. Shit, didn't mean to do that. There's one more, right? Oh, did I already kill it? Nice. Was not expecting that, to be honest. Large crystal. A lockpick. Still something else to grab. Something in the ceiling, right? That's what I'm guessing. Or did I miss something like super freaking obvious? I think I just missed something obvious. That's okay. We don't need every little thing. Down. Oh shit, I didn't even notice that my first playthrough. Let's got a pipe bomb going. Hell yeah. Eat. Yellow quartz, crystal. Nice. Hells yes. Oh shit, I remember this part. This part's gonna suck. This is gonna suck pretty bad. How did I miss that swing? Holy shit, Ethan, get it get some death perception going. They they, they claw they bit your freaking arm and tore that off. You didn't they didn't tear out your eyes, my guy. Another one. There we go. This should be easy. Your thing's right in front of you. Come on. Oh wait, are you stuck in a wall? Oh, he's still advancing, though. There we go. Shit. Let's back up. Oh, Jesus. Okay. You can do a little freaking Spartan charge. Shit. <laughs> that, oh, I put myself in a corner. That's not good. Let's do this. Eat. There we go. That was a dumb idea, but it actually worked. So, maybe not a dumb idea after all. Come on, expose yourself. Shit. Um, I need to heal. Yo, we. Oh, come on. No, 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 how, Ethan, you are built like a tank. How are you taking all this, you bad man? I don't care about any plot revelations. This is just pure nonsense. Oh, fuck, now they're flanking. That's great. Shit. Oh, you, you cut off your flanking maneuver. That was not to your advantage, my friend. Just keep moving. Come on, expose yourself. There we go. There we go. Nope, still not yet. Come on. Gotta gotta flank that ass. Yeah. If they're good at it, I'm not so much good at it. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's oh I did not even mean to do that, but it worked. I got two bullets. <laughs> Shit. I wanted to focus on one at a time, but they're not letting me. Okay. Um I got no ammo. So we're gonna have to craft some. Oh, 
Ah, uh, I wasted that shot. I wasted that one too. God, I am not doing too well. There we go. Shit. Holy crap, we I don't have any ammo. I got I got no bullets. <laughs> I gotta craft some, but I I I've been playing most of this game trying not to craft. I wanna get by as I can. Shit. There we go. Now they're dead. Yeah, I I play survival horror games very, very conservatively. I like to keep my resources. It's not really a much of a choice though with these guys. Did they even give me treasure? I think they did. Yeah, I got, I got, I got one shell to my name at the moment. Press and scrap. Shock. Oh, more shock. I could have used that like a freaking minute ago. Let's see any other boxes? I was trying to use like all this terrain to, um, to like outmaneuver them, but they didn't really uh, give me a chance for that. But yeah, we gotta shoot those things out. So let's make handgun bullets. We gotta. Man, this freaking railing's at just the right freaking angle to fuck me up. One. Two, three. I think there's one more. Um, have I heard anything about Capcom getting sued over this game about the monster designs being used? I remember something vaguely coming up. Um, I think it was maybe like a fan art thing they used or something, but I really don't remember to be honest. Um, I, I guess if you remember, feel free to uh, to show the class what. Just show the rest of the students what you brought to class. Oh, gave me handgun ammo there. Great. <laughs> the designs were from a movie. I know for the, um, I guess the boss of this area, the uh, big propeller looking dude, like that's inspired by, uh, by a Frankenstein movie. But it looks like, mm, I don't know how, it looks pretty one to one, I guess. I don't know if, uh, if you'd even consider that inspiration at that point. Yeah, the propeller, dude. Okay. I didn't know they were getting sued over it, though. I can see the case for being why, I guess. Uh, Soldot Jets. Attached a jet pack and head stabilizers to a Soldot. Greatly improves mobility. Experiments prove limited flight capabilities. No long distance flight, but now possible to navigate rugged terrain. Uh, attached aluminum alloy shielding to a soul dot to protect chest reactor and exposed flesh. Experimentation proves he is invincible against regular firearms. Armor does not hold up against strong blasts. Further development needed. Um, would have been nice to know about the jetpack beforehand, but at least now we know we need to blow up the armor. Let's see. I know we need to go through here, but uh, let's see. What's up? Yeah. I'd be interested to see if they actually get sued for that. Wait, no, I need to go up here. Never mind. Let's let's go push that thingy out of the way. Yeah, the the two enhancements there. It was the uh, it was a jetpack on the soldats. So that those are the ones we just fought. I believe the other one that it's uh, discussing is um, a heavier variant where they are like way more heavily armored, where you can't put even put a dent in them, like their weak spot isn't even um, visible. We gotta hit him with some uh, some explosives. Got the ball mold. Oh, now we can go back and actually get um, that ball uh, little puzzle going. Go down here. Would that be a local business? I suppose so. I'm having a hard time kind of seeing some of the stuff in the shadows here. Not because, like, my in-game settings. It's purely because there's a big old giant light in my face. 
So if I miss like random things in the dark, that's probably why. Ethan, no! This was a horrible idea, Ethan. <laughs> oh, Ethan is full of horrible ideas. But it always tends to work out for him for whatever godforsaken reason. So shit. That was close. If it works, it works. Oh, there's a thing right there. Got a quartz. That's my favorite size milk. Because I don't drink too much milk. So why am I going to spend money on stuff that's going to go bad? Let's go with the quart. Uh, apparently I missed some stuff over there. Any more ceiling stuff? Any hidden gems? Any uncut gems? That movie was fucking great. It gave me fucking anxiety for days though, just watching someone make increasingly poor and poor decisions, but... It's... Oh uh, shit. Gotta climb over here. I don't like this at all. I'm obviously not a fan of cereal. You know what? I would consider myself quite the cereal connoisseur, but just like in recent times, I haven't had time for cereal. I, um, because before I used to start working like at 10 or 12, or shoot, even when I was working my, my last kind of shift, like from like years ago, it was like three to midnight. So I'd have all the time in the world to have cereal. But, um, I wake up like at four, <laughs> four to go to work. So I don't really have too much time to like sit down and properly have a bowl. Now it's kind of like, um, fill up my hydro flask and, um, if that happens, it's all over. Basically fill up my hydro flask and then get like some granola bars. That, that's my breakfast no nowadays. I'll stop it. I'll use Rose to kill Miranda. Uh, uh nowadays uh, uh, I wake up at 4 a.m., yeah. Poor Papa. You're the only one who doesn't see your kid's power. Take Rose. Oh. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. I mean, they already did. What do you mean? Want to see him try, Ethan? You're not very good at this whole shit talking thing. Uh, welcome to your world. Are, do you do you still make time within your 4 a.m. life to uh to make time for cereal? Maybe, maybe I need to learn from you. Learn learn the ways to prioritize the proper uh bref breakfast experience. I used to work at 4 p.m. like years and years ago. That was. I had a lot of time to myself, like in the mornings and some of the afternoon, I guess. Wouldn't recommend it. Shitty, shitty shift. Don't recommend it in the slightest. Um, there's something up there. I don't remember ever getting a. Oh, there's a thingy. Maybe I can take that. Do you usually meal prep and make breakfast items like egg white breakfast burritos? Ooh, that is actually very inspiring. Um, and you'll make some banana bread or blueberry bread, some cut up fruit. You're over here living the best life. <laughs> I, I, I keep it pretty basic. Um, there, there's times me and, uh, me and Dez, my partner, will, will go out and like do some meal prep, we'll make some dinner and whatnot, but, uh, if I'm, like, just going for, like, casual breakfast, it's definitely just, like, cereal, or I'll make some eggs. Can I jump down here? Yes, you can. I did not go here on my first playthrough. The night before. Man, I'm so lazy the night before. I eat dinner, I'm just like, I just want to go to bed, or I want to squeeze in some extra, <laughs> like, movie time, some game time or something. Yeah, you have a much stronger, um, I don't want to say moral fortitude. Yeah, you have, a, you have a stronger fortitude to treat yourself to good breakfast in the morning. Oh, got that. You told you after yourself over for a few years, you wouldn't eat all day. I think I'm almost kind of starting to get to that point. Um... Or I'm just not eating lunch at work. Like I'll, I'll eat my my granola bars or whatever for breakfast. Like just like on my breaks. 
Um, but aside from that, I don't really eat on my lunch. I, I wait till I get home. Well, I guess you can just consider that lunch, but I really should eat it at work. This is all an investment, even. Crystal. Uh, I got a lot of this stuff. Holy shit. Your coin. There we go. Can I buy any stuff? Greatly reduces recoil. We don't really need that. Securing goods is more important than anything. Anything, my friend. Let's increase our firepower. Mm -hmm. Do I have pistol ammo right now, actually? I do. I have plenty of pistol then. ammo. I need, um... No, 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 wait, shit, don't read. Don't reload. Don't do it. Shall I choose something for you? Let's reload our sniper. What? Ah, it's fine. All finished. That going. I don't think I can afford anything else now. To hunger. Used to be alive. Don't let up yet. It sure there to be go. a good meal. Don't let it get to that point. Got to at least snack. Yeah, I, I got a, I, I got some fixing to do as far as my diet and whatnot goes. Uh, t -t -t makes you feel way better. Uh, use a hu you're a huge fan of rice cakes, and you could uh, put out like almond or peanut butter on them. Super tasty mid morning snack. <gasps> you are making me hungry. I, 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 I got to be living the best life right over here. Now I'm kind of craving a PB and J. I'm not gonna lie. I, I have leftover pizza that I'm probably gonna eat after this, but man, rice cakes are good. Even if you get like the unsalted ones, if you just put your own stuff on it, it's pretty good. Could have sworn I heard one of those little goat collectibles. I think it was like in the elevator. I haven't bothered to like look up a guide for it yet. Um, I need to go make the ball thingy for that. Hell yeah, rice, rice, rice cakes are the bomb. Oh, save in case I die. It's dark. It is. Wait, we turn on all the lights. Why is it dark? That makes no sense. If it made a lot of sense. You can make a whole dollar. Oh, shit. Hey, buddy. Stop doing your thingy. Oh, that didn't hit him? Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. A whole doll hair. <laughs> hey, that, that one's good, too. Alright, um, what's the shortest way back over to here? Uh, over here, I guess. Da -da -da. Oh, shit. Oh, I am... Oh, I don't like that. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, come on. Got backed into a corner. I didn't exactly get, like, stun locked or whatever, but it sure as hell felt like it. It's dark. Alright, let's, uh, not horribly die this time. I do not wish to be penetrated by this dude's drill. That, that's for Tuesdays for me, personally. Come on, expose! There we go. Hell yeah. Alright, so now we just gotta watch out for dude numero two. Is 
these rates. Oh, that was close. They're actually getting stunned by these now, which is working in my favor. There we go. At least it looks well lubricated. <laughs> They've got their priorities. They're keeping themselves in tip-top shape right there. Hell yeah. So we've got the ball mold. Then we have... I don't even remember where the fuck the other one goes. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. That That's the uh, key. The key mold we're going to make, I think. As soon as this one's done. Alright. And next one. Very convenient that they just kind of left this laying around for me, but I guess that's just the entirety of the game, so I'm not even going to trip about it. There we go. All right, Heisenberg's key. Um, there's one over here, or there's a door to use it over here. Door to use it on. Anyone around the corner? Nope. Cool. That's the way I like it. Bunch of these guys, though. I was about to say, don't tell me you're dead already. I wouldn't believe that. slightly easier than I thought. I just really want to upgrade the firepower on this thing. I said scrap, gunpowder. Mechanical part, shaft. The shaft can often be the, the nicest part of the body. Let's see, there is a switch over there. That we need to get to. Let's go back on down. Very glad I've been killing these guys off instead of just letting them roam around. That'd be a much harder time. Oh, what the fuck was that? Press. There we go. Sniper rifle ammo. Lock pick. Don't tell me you're gonna get up, dude. I'll slash all of you. Oh shit. Uh where's his thing? Oh, never mind, it's on the front. Nope. Yeet. Oh, this is bad. On. There we go. You are not still alive. Shit. Go, go, go. Shit. Come on, Ethan. There we go. Shoot him in the legs. Jesus, this one took way more ammo. Freaking super freaking sold out or something. Medical log. Revitalization surgery. This is my 18th attempt. Let's combine that real quick. Um, customizable part that for increased firepower. Hells yeah. Oscar the stable boy, 20 years old. He fell down the well while drunk. Body is in good condition. <clears throat> Chest incision complete. Now to remove the heart and vital organs. 
and implant the control device. Excellent. Godot has begun adhering to the nervous system. It's progressing even faster than before. It seems upping the ratio of meta-albumin in the artificial blood was the right choice. Now to pass a current through the brain stem. Who the hell records freaking audio logs on this? Come on. It has to work this time. Well, evidently it did. Yes! Ha 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 ha! Wonderful! My creation! At last! I'll get that bitch yet! Ha 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 ha! I. You probably shouldn't leave physical evidence that uh, you're planning a coup, dude. I mean, I get this is like your factory, but she can like pop up everywhere. Quality's fantastic too, yeah. For, for what that device was, it should have not have uh, sounded that good. Oh, you know what? I missed an item somewhere. Flashbang. There we go. Not that I use them. Straight MP3 quality. <laughs> Whatever backwards ass uh, shit they're using right over here. Uh, where else can I use that Heisenberg key? Uh, there's. I still have to use the ball puzzle. I do not want to forget that. Um, I believe that's it. And then the Heisenberg key is like all the way back up at the top. Yeah. Okay, should be good. You put that on your iPod Nano? Hell yeah. So this game's supposed to take place like in 2020 or something, right? They should have access to more stuff. Like, I know they're in a village and whatnot. They're kind of isolated from the world, but my dude is building freaking... Freaking Terminators over here. Oh, shit. Here's another one somewhere. Oh, that is the big boy. Um, let's make him an unbig boy. Put that bomb there. Take away his armor. There we go. Big boy, no more. How many bulls is it gonna freaking take? Holy shit! Dude, I'm just unloading. Oh shit. That would have been bad. But now they're dead. It is so freaking dark. Um, at the elevator? Yeah. We dipping. Am I going the right way? I think so. Please don't let anything else pop up. Oh shit. Uh, there's another one. Da da da. Only got four bullets this oh shit come on <laughs> this multiple strike shit going on there we go stun lock him maybe got one more rifle shot I I thought the point of that was to charge. Come on. Shit. I should have blocked that. But I didn't. Stop. I should have been the legs. You can't really block, so. As much as I don't want to spend that extra ammo, it's better than getting slapped. Shit. Um. Come on, go, go, go.
Come on. Just expose the freaking... Oh, there we go. Hell yeah. Let's go back. Hopefully you raked in some money. Then uh, Heisenberg's thing should be right up there. Welcome, Ethan. Oh, I thank you, Duke. You're always a very kind gentleman. Ankle heart. Um. Did I miss something? This is supposed to combine with something else. Till next um, week. Don't believe I did. Oh, labyrinth puzzle. Good thing I checked. Um, I don't believe the labyrinth puzzle gives you uh, the thingy for that, though. Let's see, where is my mouse? I want to check this out real quick. Uh, village shaft combine. Shaft and mechanical parts. Ignore that audio. We will. Cylinder. Just trying to see where this is because I don't want to miss it. Wait, do I? I think I do have it. I, did I sell it? Please don't tell me. I Fuck, I hell has sold it. I sold it and I shouldn't have. <laughs> Damn. Really? I'm a dummy. I shouldn't have sold that. Fuck. Did that impact a trophy or something for me? I hope it didn't impact a trophy. I mean, I'm doing pretty damn good on money here, but... Kind of disappointed in myself. Let's see. Da -da -da. Craft every type of item. That's something different. Crafting recipe. No, I don't think I fucked up like a trophy, but still. Feeling pretty dumb That's about so that. Shit. Dissatisfied? I that that is this that is a small surprise. that is microscopic brain moves on my part. <laughs> Get this firepower going. This simple modification can be done in just a moment. This is all an investment. Good day then. Man, I don't want to talk to you right now, Duke. You, you shouldn't have let me sell that to you. That's fucked up. Uh, iron horse ball. Oh, sh shit. I, I mean, I just don't get why Ethan just is unwilling to just grab the ball and put it where it's supposed to go. You don't have to play along with these weird rules. Yeah, he wants to play by the, uh... He's like freaking like Yugi or something. He, want, he, want, he doesn't want to cheat. Gotta play it legit. Which I admire, but... We're, we're in very serious trying times right now, my guy. We don't have time for this. Come on, you can do it. Get in there, bull. I wouldn't even mind this one in particular if it didn't take so much time just waiting for shit to uh, happen. Shh. God damn it. I'm not good at this. But I really want that treasure. Especially since I fucked up the other thing. Come on. You can do it. Oh. That, that works, I suppose. Shit, wrong camera. Damn it! <laughs> I'm so bad at this. I am doing significantly worse than I did, than I was the first time. And that was with worse controls on, um... With the, on, on the keyboard when I was playing the PC version. It's like, yeah, the aiming with the, aiming with the mouse is a lot better, but... Sure as fuck doesn't help when you're trying to do something like this. Eat. Okay. 
There we go. All right, I need to wait for this. Come on, go, 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 go. Wait, no, shit. Okay. Gotta time this. Gotta time that momentum. And yeet. Please tell me it's smooth sailing from here. I think so. Yep, smooth sailing. Fuck believing on the heart of the cards. <laughs> Be like Kaiba, you gotta cheat at the shitties. Cheat, cheat at the shitties, then. Welcome. Sell that. Let's get the rifle One going. Moment, please. I'm skilled at all sorts of weapons, Till next week. Seto Kaiba cheats all the time. <laughs> Tearing up extra frickin' uh, the only other blue eyes white dragon card in the entire universe, apparently. Um Ignoring the rules of the game because he's got money. That Seto Kaiba is like the definition of cheating. That dude's got no honor. He doesn't believe in the heart of the cards. That is no way cheat. That is that is hell of cheating. He's just prime alpha. <laughs> just swinging his freaking shit around. I don't know, that sounds a lot like cheating to me. Dude pisses excellence and money in the morning. He definitely pisses, uh, money. I, I will give him that, the dude's got money. I don't know if I'd use the word excellence. I, I, have, I have to hand it to a dude to single-handedly shifting the focus of his, like, of his father's, like, corporate legacy really into are. making, to making, like, an attract not attraction, but um, an amusement park dedicated to like freaking card games. The dude flies around in a freaking jet modeled after a blue eyes white dragon. <laughs> I mean, fuck it. If I had that kind of money, I wouldn't give a shit what anyone thought. I'd like, hell yeah, I'd fly around in a jet that looks exactly like a blue eyes white dragon. Why the hell not? So, Kaiba's kind of just. Man, he, he's got everything. A prototype Sturm. Use a cheap turbo turbo prop engine, but he's impossible to control. All he does is charge. Too much power output from from the reactor. Completely invincible head-on, but the dumbass managed to chop his own damn arms off on the propeller. Also issues with overheating from running for long periods of time. Conclusion: a complete failure. You forgot about that? <laughs> yeah, he, dude, literally flies around in a freaking jet that looks like a blue eyes. Dude's got no chill. He's like Elon Musk, if Elon Musk was into, uh... Doing even stupider shit, I guess. Alright. I don't know if I'm ready for this boss fight, but we're gonna do it anyway. Oh shit! I don't have time for this bullshit! Out of my way! Shit. Okay, we gotta. Oh fuck! Don't corner me. Come on. Need you break down these walls for me, baby, buddy. Literally and meta, not metaphysically, metaphorically. Shit. Uh, I should probably use some mines, I guess. Is he not gonna run into that? Here, let's put it like directly in his way. Come on, charge. There we go. Oh shit. Oh, that actually saved my ass. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, 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 shit. Oh no, I'm in a corner. 
There you go. Oh shit. Oh shit. Surprisingly, not a one-hit kill. Oh, wait, no, 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 don't do that, Ethan. I don't... I wasted that. God damn it, I did not need to use that. Okay, um... Shit. Dude can last freaking fire blast now, apparently. What are, you, what are you doing over there? Come on. There we go. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's definitely not the smartest. Oh, shit, shit. Unless you're talking about me, then that is also applicable. Both of these are very applicable. Oh, shit. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Let's see if I can. Nope, can't sneak up. Shit. Come on, buddy. Charge. Uh, I don't have any sniper ammo. Why did I do that? Oh, don't go in a corner. What am I doing? Oh, apparently it worked. <laughs> Shit, 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 shit. There we go. Uh, I'm out of ammo. Oh, I have so much pistol ammo. Where the frick did I get that? Oh, shit. That's not good. I mean, as long as you aren't selling key items, you wouldn't be using you as an example. I don't think it's physically possible to sell key items in here, but I'm sure if there was a way, I probably would have done it. Shit. Shit. Go, go, go. I, I did sell that other, like, combinable thing, but that wasn't a key item. Shit. Oh, please don't pin me in this corner. Go, go, go! Come on. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Wait, I thought he broke down that wall. What the fuck? Or am I, am I getting turned around? Is that a... No, I'm pretty damn sure he broke that thing down. I need you to just stop moving, please. Over here, I need to get around. Now okay, stay so I... down. Oh! He dead? Oh! Yeah, I, I would assume once the boss is blown up for some inexplicable reason, that, that is typically the end of a fight. I will, I will take it. Uh, apparently there's more ammo around here though. I should, uh, search for that real quick. Some kind of resources around here at least. Maybe it didn't break down enough walls. Um, oh, there's something over there. There we go. There was a sniper ammo. <laughs> I could have used like a million years ago. Am I supposed to go through? Yeah, I think I'm supposed to go through there. Cigar. Miranda is abominable. Her deceit knows no bound. We're merely a bunch of failed Caddo experiments to her. I was just lucky I had more affinity to the stuff than the other poor schmucks in the village, so she still calls me her son. What a joke. 
I'll never forgive her for what she did to me. That crazy bitch has never been right in the head. She can't see a difference between experiment and family. Miranda didn't just change my body, she took my dignity. If I don't kill her, the, yeah. If I don't kill her, then my life will be will never be my own. Here we go. Kind of feel bad for him, but he is a murderous asshole. So there's that. So maybe I don't for, forgive him for all that shit. Um, am I supposed to go out here? No. Because then that's going to trigger a cutscene. I don't want to trigger a cutscene right now. I'm trying to get stuff done. Go down here. Herb. Oh! There's a goat. Bye bye, goat. It's a chem fluid. Oh! Chocon ammo. Hell yeah. I wonder if a boss fight will happen as soon as I get down here. Nope. Not immediately. It is certainly being set up to, as such. Apparently I missed something. Oh, another box over here. How do they hide this giant freaking factory and whole facility like underground for the whole village Jesus I know it's like a little bit more on the outskirts but still Nothing bad's gonna happen over here. I can semi totally not whatsoever promise that in the slightest. And nothing to grab over here, so. Let's go on through. What the? Ethan, you should know what that means. <laughs> Run, dude. It's a magneto. But I've got a rebellion. Magneto, but hot. So stay out of my way. I don't think that's working, Ethan. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Don't come. I kinda wish they didn't put the skip button in the bottom right. I would like to, for there to be some false pretense that this is, that this is still like gameplay. That bastard. <laughs> Alright Ethan, let, let's go on your next big dummy plan move. Again. All that progress for nothing. Get this going. But, uh, remove. I can. I can do that. I'm good at pressing the X button. Told you to leave it alone, Ethan. It's beautiful boy Chris. You are in Hell the way. yeah. What do you care, Chris? You killed my wife, you son of a bitch. You think I killed Mia? That wasn't her. You could have said that at the what? very beginning of the game, Chris. Why did you wait? She's a bioweapon. It is such an easy explanation. Seems she also survived being shot, so now I'm here to finish the job. Bullshit! Why don't you fucking tell me right away? Because I knew you would want to be involved. And this job is hard enough without civilians getting in the way. 
That's a very Why us, Chris? loose excuse. What the hell is going on? All right, Ethan. All right. I guess I owe you an explanation. Yeah, you do. Hand me that wrench. It's montage time. Got that popped collar looking fresh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Chris knows how to punch boulders Long and short, step up at the fashion game. In this village, all these monsters and freaks, this is her life's work. Some sort of crazy experiment with the mold. The mold. Like Louisiana. God damn it. All this time, I thought I could save my family. I can't escape from here. I can't do anything. Might not be true. It was such an easy explanation, Chris. This. Why did you withhold this information? The men sent those pictures a few minutes ago. Miranda. Keep looking. She got the baby. Holy shit, we gotta go. Relax, my men are monitoring the situation. But they have my daughter. You don't get it, Ethan. You don't stand a chance against Miranda by yourself. <laughs> How did you rig this shit up, Chris? I will stay down here and finish planting explosives. You take that elevator. I'll meet you topside. I promise you, we will get your daughter back. Together. Damn straight we will. The dude gets a more rugged and handsome every game after five. Hell yeah. I think Chris maybe looks a little bit like a doofus in um, Resident Evil 1. Looks like a little bit more of a Chad in um, in Code Veronica, but like yeah, five onward, dude, dude's got it going on. Had a little bit of a mishap in seven. Didn't even look like Chris, but um, yeah, four, um, five Chris, six, and definitely eight right here. My dude is on point. Total doofus in one. <laughs> Uh, to Hound Wolf Squad, the sweep of the factory is complete. No proof of any connection with the organization. Guess this just wasn't our lucky day. I did manage to get my hands on a number of documents disclosing some of Miranda's experiments, which support our previous theories. She seems to have infected herself with the Mutamycete, which has granted her a number of abilities, including mimicry. She can control her cells and transform herself to look like anyone or anything. She disguised herself as Mia and infiltrated the Winters' home. Her objective was clearly to kidnap Rose. Maybe she thought she could control Rose easier if she looked like her mom. When we attacked, it put a little damper on her plans, so she mimicked a corpse. She then revived herself in the transport truck, killed everyone on board, and took off with Rose. Things didn't go the way she originally planned, but in the end, she still got what she wanted. Until now. It's... It's time to rendezvous and blow this place sky high. This might turn into a fight with Heisenberg, but I thought I found something useful. He left one of his little toys laying around, and it's even made from a metal polymer composite, which he can't control. Time to turn the tables. Oh, I, I missed that little part last time I played. He li literally can't control this. Okay. Uh, Shiva would be swooning over the sun. Hell yeah, she would. She kind of ignored him in 5, but... Um, yeah, I, I don't. I think she's like legally obligated to to bow before the glory of, of this man, as is every single human being on this planet. Let's see, is there something grab around here? Got a first aid and a box. I mean, how she didn't totally swoon up af over him after he punched a fucking boulder into lava to save her is beyond. Yeah. Well, if, if somebody does that for you, I think you're, like, legally obligated to just, like, worship them on the spot. Alright, let's get on this improvised little, not completely metal tank. Metal polymer composite, huh? Time to fight fire with fire. Hell yeah. I love this part of the game so much, because it is so fucking ridiculous in the best possible way. Let's see. Like, like, your block is literally a freaking chainsaw. <laughs> it's, it's... Oh, this game is fucking beautiful. I love it. It is so dumb. It's so great. Did 
Is it, um, I forget, does, it, I don't think there's even a cooldown for the machine gun. You can just go freaking ham with it. Oh, I love this part of the game so much. Hey, Eisenberg. There's so much shooting right here. And in typical uh, Resident Evil tradition, I uh, gotta shoot the glowing spots. Oh, reloaded. See, so if you ever get a mech suit, it'll have a chase on the arm as well. Hell yeah. I I've seen too much Evil Dead to to ignore, like, any any given opportunity to not have a chainsaw attached to something. And it, yeah, it is so beautiful. It's so dumb. I'm, I am so surprised that this moment works as well as it does in the game. Because it's such a total shift from the survival horror. It's such a total shift from, like, even the action horror. This is... This is some Resident Evil 6 shit, and it still works. This is so dumb, but I love it. It does go on a little bit long, I will say that. Oh shit. Gotta block that stuff. Shit. Oh, did I die? Okay. Um, apparently I died. Damn, it seemed like it'd be a death. I wish we could just use this like as a melee attack. It's only really to block. There we go. Come on, shoot off these arms. There we go. Yeah, when I did this the first time, I did not die a single time, but I don't think that's going to be the case now. I want to see if I can maybe even just save the cannons for staving off attacks. That way I don't even have to block. I just, he just won't be able to attack me in that regard. There we go. There we go. Gotta keep that distance. Damn, you gotta fire at this thing for freaking days before something happens. <laughs> I just love how he's talking shit the entire time. Does he even have any weak points to shoot right now? I don't think so. Oh. Oh. He can pick us up apparently now though. <laughs> I love what they actually called that. They made the meme from five real. Oh shit. Come on. Nope. 
Oh. Apparently this is working. I wouldn't think it would, but... Run, dude. Run. You should be able to outrun me, but I guess not. This gun definitely fires slower than the M19, but... Max more power. When you first meet Heisenberg in the beginning of the sword, he also has an epic... Oh, the sword he has, yeah. The sword he has is so freaking cool. He's not really putting up much of a challenge right now. Oh, shit. <laughs> How is he lifting me? I'm not made of metal. This is... <laughs> we found our tank. This is legitimately freaking Saints Row 3 stuff going on. You did. Hell yeah. Crystal Heisenberg. Iron Giant down. Aw, I, I love Iron Giant. <laughs> hey, Canny. Yeah, it looks like you missed the best the best line, the uh, boulder punching asshole. Heisenberg. Now I'm going to find Miranda and get Rose back. Not without me. It's too dangerous. Wait there, you hear me? Credit to Ethan for holding up his phone with just three fingers. <laughs> Respond. Don't shoot the baby. Mia? You should probably shoot her, though. Our child. She's so important, isn't she? She's everything to me. <laughs> Ethan, don't fall for this, dude. And mine to me. You literally know that she could gone. disguise herself. You've lost your lead. What are you going to do? I don't know, but I'm saving Rose. You'd never know, do you? Even when I took Mia's place in... Quick thought, because it didn't occur to me until earlier today. We do not know exactly when Miranda swapped places with Mia. Does that mean Ethan at some point... With, with Miranda <laughs> at some point? Her home. Poor Ethan. Who are you? Where's Rose? <laughs> That that'd be pretty gross, I must say. Miranda. Enough. Remember Evelyn. Asking the important Bobby. questions here, hell yeah. <laughs> Rose is her successor. No. Rose is Evelyn's true complete form. She will grow to fully control the masses. And I must have her. Fuck you, you crazy bitch! <laughs> Ethan, just shoot her. What are you doing? Calm yourself. When you consider everything involved, it's gross all around. Yeah. The mega my seat. The mold man. All of us. However, she will be reborn as my daughter. She's my child, not yours. Where are you? Show yourself. Why did Rose come to be? Was it because of her parents? Oh no, the hag was actually Miranda all along. I never guessed that. But I've learned all I can. That means Your Ethan has mold cement. <laughs> Miranda! Uh. Come on and face me! Oh. Ethan did. Don't if you think about it. Your death will come quick. You will join the Mega it, If, um. If Mia still has like some mold in her and stuff, I will make sure to um, blood for it was literally just like mold on mold action. Once dawn breaks, the ceremony will be complete, and I will become her true. Like mother. Mia has to be mold also too by that logic, right? Like they're, they're just two molds <laughs> going at it. 
She was infected like way before Ethan was. I've waited so long. But dreams really can come true. You can take his heart, but you can't take his face because he already lost it. <laughs> oh god, the smell. The smell. <laughs> Moldy semen. Oh, no, that's bad. Regular stuff is bad, and then you put that on top of that. That's like double bad. Captain, I've oh, Jesus. Winters. I wasn't able to retrieve the body, but I've recorded evidence. I don't even want to think about that anymore. <laughs> My team and I were careless. Yesterday, we took down the transformed Miranda, but we didn't kill her. You sure there's already rule 34 for that stuff? I I would imagine so. Since Miranda could have infected Ethan, I forcefully took him and Rose with us. But the vehicle that kind of makes sense a little bit, I guess. He like he doesn't know like how far they were compromised letting them in on the plant. I don't know. It, it's loose justification. Like for all he he could have known like they would have were infected by Miranda like under their control or something. They were riding and was attacked. When I got to the wreck, Ethan and Rose were gone. <laughs> no shit, Chris. My team were careless. That's your brand, Chris. The last time, I was able to contact Ethan. I'm surprised how many members of Chris's team in this freaking, um, freaking survive. Um, because like every single Resident Evil game, like, like his entire squad gets wiped out. I heard Miranda's voice. She murdered him, and she is not going to get away with it. I really love this moment. The first time I played him, just like, fuck, Ethan's dead. We're taking over his Chris. This is going to be the rest of the game. All of it. Three years trying to put this thing in the ground. Three years too long. Smoking's bad for you, Chris. I don't think he's ever smoked in uh, any other Resident Evil game that I can oh, think of off the top of my head. Me. They didn't waste any time. Mission adjustment? No, it doesn't change anything. Terminate Miranda and rescue Rose. That's the mission. And failure's not an option. Everyone's That's wearing some, some sweet jackets, though. All times. Move out. Roger. Perfect. I would love to actually get to know that squad a little better. Help ESAA is doing here. Find out what you can. Roger that. I'm on it. BSAA is up to some shady stuff. We fought together, Captain. When was the last? Okay, I believe that is saved. Um, I want to go ahead and stop right there, just so we have enough stuff for when we uh, stream tomorrow night. Um, same, same time, 5 p.m. PST.